Welcome back to Eatsy, where if we can make it, so can you, because it's Eatsy. Today we're going to be making pizza, as well as making our own sauce and our own dough for the pizza. The amount of dough in this recipe will allow you to make three 12-inch pizza doughs. But if you decide that Ain't nobody got time for that. you can also pick up something like this from Costco or something like this from Walmart. The trick to getting a good pizza dough is that you have to have an equal ratio of ingredients by weight. In our case, for making three 12 inch doughs, we'll need 400 grams of flour, 12 grams of yeast, one egg, one gram of salt, three grams of sugar, and 320 grams of water. To start, add your yeast, salt, sugar, and egg, and about half your water. Make sure that your water is warm. Stir it all up vigorously until it looks much worse than the health craze smoothies that your sister-in-law tries to make you drink. Set it aside for about five minutes or until the surface is thoroughly covered in bubbles. Then you can add your flour and begin stirring it into the yeast egg soup you've made. Here is also where you'll start adding in the other half of the water you've saved. Make sure you add your water slowly and consistently. Eventually you'll be able to knead the dough with your hands. It should kind of be like if you're going to give a massage to somebody that you really hate. Eventually form it into a ball that kind of looks like the size of a softball though the consistency would make it much more satisfying if you're going to throw it at someone. Cover your dough ball with saran wrap and set it aside to let the dough rise for about two hours. When it's ready, it should be about twice the size it was when you put it in the bowl. While you're waiting for the dough to rise, you can start making your pizza sauce. The ingredients will include three cloves of minced garlic, half of a sweet onion that you've diced, one teaspoon of salt, oregano and chicken bouillon and half a teaspoon of sugar and if you want to some red pepper flakes to taste. The base for your sauce will be one large can of diced tomatoes. Start by adding some olive oil to a pan over medium high heat. Then you'll add your diced onion, your garlic, and your chili peppers. Stir it and let it cook down in the heat for a little while, and then add your diced tomatoes. Next, toss in the oregano, the salt, and the sugar. Finally, add the chicken bouillon and mix it all thoroughly. You'll want to let it cook until the tomatoes are reduced and the water is mostly boiled off. If you want to, to make a finer sauce, you can put it in a blender when it's done. Going back to our dough, you'll want to separate it apart by weight. You're going to be aiming for about 15 grams per ball. Ours weren't perfect, and that's okay. We got a 15 gram ball, and the other two balls were 10 grams each. The aim is to make them even so that you have about the same amount of dough for each pizza crust. Next, lightly flour your working station, grab your favorite rolling pin, and start shaping it into what looks like a pizza. The dough will retract and slide around on you, so it's helpful to have your pizza sheet next to you so that you can compare it to the size of your dough. Once you think you have it to the correct size, you can slide it over your pan, and then just use your thumbs to gently wiggle in the edges so that it fits snugly in the edge. Poke holes in your pizza crust with a fork. This allows the steam to escape from the crust so that it doesn't puff up in the oven. Let your crust rest for a few minutes while you get your toppings ready for your pizza. Of course, you can use whatever toppings you like, but here we've used salami, mushrooms, bell peppers, onions, and of course, mozzarella cheese. Try not to overcrowd your toppings on your pizza, or you'll make the Italians mad at you. Cook your pizza in the oven at 425 degrees for about 15 or 20 minutes, or until the crust is golden brown. 
Let us know in the comments how our recipes turned out for you. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and give a like if you want to.